Hi and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's new anime Yakitori Soldiers of Misfortune. Let me know in the comments, have you read the original that this is based off or is this fresh for you? Also, what did you think? Let's jump in. With Earth colonized by a superior alien civilization, Akira's only chance at a better future is to enlist as an expendable Yakitori foot soldier. In the tradition of Netflix doing things their way and strangely, when it comes to their original anime, they go all over with the amount of episodes that we get. And so we have six. And the first episode is like a pilot episode to a TV series, a live action one, which is 45 minutes long. And then every subsequent episode is around about 30 minutes and there's not much on the catch-up so you're looking at about 28 minutes episode which is slightly longer than the normal kind of 22 23 minutes depending on the intros and outros of animes that we normally get so even the formula of the tempo and the length all feels different from the outset and that first 45 minutes is really introducing us to this new world which is where humans are no longer at the top of the the species you know we've been incorporated to I guess this space world with civilizations of characters and alien races that are animal in nature not just animal but we have like the fish it's a trap. Uh, we have dog cat you know you name it we've seen it uh, I think I saw an elephant so there's all these different species that are intelligent so animals on earth obviously are, are intelligent but n as far as we know not quite intelligent as alien species that are capable of building massive planet shaping civilizations unlike the octopus which i i believe they are aliens anyway as we are placed in i guess watching akira it's very interesting to me that i guess this is more story about war and the toils and the tolls that war takes place are not just the individual that is experiencing it or having to fight in it but the many faceted layers of war that there is around and so that is like a theme it's, it's a wider theme that's in there and it's never preachy it's just kind of there and you notice it as our team are formulated to be the first human team that is not inundated with a specific kind of download of information <laughs> and then go into war and then kind of die because humans in this storyline die very quickly once they get out into the battlefield. I'm not a soldier. Yeah, they have to endure old school training. Just come here every day and I'll train you. I really like that because at the beginning, we don't know who our team members are. Kira comes across as a douchebag most of the time, an unlikable guy because of his past, which we know very little of. And I would say that's probably the biggest drawback to the six episodes is that our team we do get to know and eventually it, you know it's the cliche of the storyline where they become a team and they get working together and they they get stronger and they level up and they work together as a cohesive unit all of that works out as the episodes start to flow along but at the beginning we don't know them from anything and at the end we only know them really as a team and some of the characteristics that we've been shown along the way we know next to nothing. I know nothing. So there are surface level characters, the grumpy, uh, tortured past surrogate leader of the team that doesn't want to be the leader is that guy. You can kind of look at all those characters and for now, they're very surface level. It does look like we could get another season, although there is a complete story arc in this, which is great. So if Netflix cancel like they do so many of their series, thankfully some of the animes tend to get more picked up than some of their live action so i'm hoping we do get more from, from this so that gives you an idea that i did enjoy this when it comes to the animation it's a nice mix of 2d and 3d i really like the artworks sometimes i really just get taken back by the 3d and taken out of the immersiveness in it and i just don't like what they've done with some of the other adaptations when it comes to this 3d but the quality of work here the explosions the way they show the planet the kind of shanty town planet drawings of that looked amazing the training on mars the training on their new planet that they're going to i like how it starts the flow gets you right into the action and kind of doesn't let up like it's it's an action heavy series until the last episodes episode six where they really are paying for having been puppets or toys of things that are just placed and used to be in this war and so once you get to the fruition it does really change that pace until we start getting going again it feels like there should be at least another four episodes or another six to be honest it feels like we're just getting going to knowing these characters when it finishes 
So as we start to get to know the characters, they're really starting to exhibit some more emotions or more depth. And that's when it finishes, which is frustrating because you've been on board. You're kind of on board the underdog storyline. The fish out of water. <laughs> placing humans that are not as strong or as equipped to deal with some of these species that they encounter, the mechanoid battles that they have to find, the, the crab-like ghost in the shell-like enemies that they have to fight with what seems like uh, their equipment is good but not quite as good. And so it makes them the underdog the whole time. And then you get this filter of classical music in the background that is always kind of with the humans and it plays in the background at key moments and really does add a layer to what's going on in the story. It's so contrast to the war that's going on that it kind of fits and works. You don't think it should. But I've seen this technique used a number of times in anime when there's intense violence going on in screen and then this classical overtune which doesn't detract from it but somehow elevates the tone and the mood that they're going for it's very clever and if done well works out for the best at elevating that anime to uh, another level and then it comes down to the editing and there's some amazing transitions one particular stands out there was a food scene that transitioned into a mountain and i just thought it was so clever the way they did that and normally i pick that up in like a live action film I don't often see that sort of technique used in editing in anime and I was just really appreciative of all the creative techniques that they were using to tell the story. So although it's heavy action, it's action done in a way that you get to see the action uh, or gunplay talking between themselves. The dialogue isn't awesome. I preferred it in the original language. I watched half and half in both. I watched in English and the dubbing, which is fine. And I watched in the original, which is better, in my opinion, getting those nuances and subtleties from the original actors. I thought this was a fun foray into the world building that they did. But now that they've done the world building, I really want much more. If this is a self-contained story and we don't ever get more, I would rate this three Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> and you got one. Congratulations. If this means we're if we're gonna get more and they confirm it soon, then this will probably go up to a four. <laughs> and you got one. Congratulations. Because this means it's just the origin story. We don't know much about their background story, but you like them as characters and, and you like them as the underdogs. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. Had you even heard of this? It doesn't seem like Netflix are doing any advertising or marketing for this. I saw a intro on YouTube clip i haven't seen an official trailer from them it just seems like this is one of those in the back burner so if you're looking for some new anime that's on there today maybe go check this out i thought it was quite a lot of fun thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on tuesday